What's going on guys, Tez here, and is it only me, or do other people get messages like this all the time? I seem to get them all the time, it's ridiculous. That and friend requests, it's insane. This guy is calling me a sweaty kid, so I thought I'd inform him that, in actual fact, I was using an LMG, and I was literally using an LMG all of last night, so I thought I'd um, chuckle at him and, and tell him that I was using an LMG. Because I got this message, it kind of sparked the idea or sparked the kind of video idea in my head of using an LMG. And I actually managed to get a game last night. And uh, I thought I'd show you it. It's me using this LMG here. It's the MK48. The I think objectives. I've got like grip and holographic sight on it or something. And I'm not going to talk about classes like I said in my previous video because eventually I will have a best class setup gun video with this particular gun. Now, this game, like I said, was from last night where I was using the LMG and I end up going 40 and 3. I do pretty well. I, I get like a, a triple spray once or twice maybe and just pretty much have a blast. I mean, I'm running with a party, playing the objective because in hardpoint it's it's so good when you can just hop on the hardpoint and get an extra 200 points. It's insane. So I hope you just enjoyed this gameplay, to be honest. I've been using LM or this LMG quite a bit and to be honest I'm actually enjoying it. I haven't used an LMG since COD 4 with the RPD. The, RP oh, the RPD was a beast. I love that gun. But uh, I haven't used an LMG since and Black Ops 2 LMGs or this LMG, the MK40, isn't actually that bad. I've been experimenting with different attachment setups on the classes so I'm trying to figure out the best attachments and setup to use. I think I've stumbled across a good setup, but uh, it always relies on me having like a, a, a sight on my gun, like this holographic here. And I'm tempted to just have a mess around later on today or or later on earlier in the week, because you'll see this like midweek. So I'm recording this Sunday. I've actually pumped out two commentaries this weekend. And uh, I'm gonna gonna run around with the iron sights because if I can use the iron sights and do well with them, then that just frees up another attachment slot, which is gonna be awesome because this gun is is absolutely dreadful close range. Now, when you throw the laser sight on it, it makes it just so much better. Just, oh, I I don't even know what, how to describe it, but if you put the laser sight on an LMG, it pretty much it doesn't make it as good as obviously the close range weapons like the the SMGs a shotgun or in some cases a few assault rifles but if you put a, a laser sight on it you can hit fire the LMGs admittedly this LMG has like really slow rate of fire so you'll get outgunned by a, an SMG quite easily but if you put on the laser sight you can run in close quarters and, and stand a fair chance of win, winning a gunfight against like the the SWAT, the Type, no, not the Type 25, the M8 and AN94 because that has a slow rate of fire as well. So this gun, if you put the right attachment setups on it, it's it's an all-around good gun, and I've just been really enjoying using it lately. And that's pretty much all I wanted to mention about the the gun. And I did say I wasn't going to speak about it, but I kind of did. And. I was waiting to use this gameplay, I wasn't really going to upload it now, I'm kind of saving recording for clips with each gun until I've got them all in diamond. Admittedly, I, this is the first LMG I've used and I almost have it in gold, but uh, it's, I've still got a bit of work to do until I can record for clips with the LMGs, because there's four of them and I haven't got any in gold yet. Assault rifles, I have two left to go, I, I kind of just give you an update on what guns I've almost got gold and diamond. I have all of the assault rifles in gold except for the M8 and the AN94. The AN94, I think that's like halfway, so that's not got too long. If I actually grinded that out for about an hour and an hour or so, I'd, I'd have that in gold. All the SMGs are done. The, all the specials, that's like ballistic knife, combat knife, riot shield, and crossbow, they're all done. Got one pistol in gold. I have no rocket launchers in gold. So that means I've got three rocket launchers to get in gold for have to have them in diamond. Five pistols, like I just mentioned, one of them's already in gold. I think that's the TAC-45. That pistol is a monster. Uh, there's the snipers. I just got the blister in gold yesterday. And I have the SVU that's almost done. And then the XPR-50, which I haven't touched yet. So those are the guns I need to get in gold. There's a total of about 3, 8, 11... 13, 16, 
Oh, mass. Crap. What comes after 16 in terms of guns? Crap. I don't know. About 17 or 18 guns I still need to get in gold. And then I'll have them all in diamond. I can start recording for clips. I can start getting good gameplays because by the end of getting the clips and getting the best class setups videos done, I will actually have a gameplay with every single weapon in the game. And that's something that I've not actually been able to achieve before. I've always struggled with using specific guns. And in Modern Warfare 3, I don't think I ever uploaded specific gun gameplays like the PM, PM93? The PM63? It's one of those. I got it in gold, but I don't think I ever got a very good gameplay with it. I know that I definitely didn't get gameplays with the LMGs. I barely even use them, to be honest. But in this game, it, it feels like it's got a, a lot more variety. You can use a lot more things and do well with it. And I, oh, I explained it to Rainer last night. I said to him that Black Ops 2, for me, has a lot more... St I think it was staying power. I think that's what he used. Either that or, or something to do with his life. But I think that Black Ops 2 will last a lot longer than Black Ops 1 ever did and Modern Warfare 3 ever did for me, at least. I kind of got bored of that game after about 8 months. But I think Black Ops 2 at the moment, you can pretty much use whatever gun you want and kind of be successful with it. And because of that, the game's just going to stay fresh for a very, very long time. They're adding new maps. I think the date today is like... Well, let me just check. The date is the 13th of January. They're adding new maps in two weeks so that'll be fun that'll add like a new a new sense of newness that's not even a word let's, let's make that a word newness is now a word so it's going to have a new sense of newness in the game which would be kind of awesome and uh it's just going to make the game last a lot longer and i'm very very happy with how black ops 2 turned out absolutely enjoying the heck out of this game and i couldn't really ask for much more i know at the beginning of the game i was like please bigger maps please but these smaller maps Adjusting my playstyle has actually kind of grown on me, and I do enjoy playing all of the maps in this game. The only map I don't like is... Oh, crap. Mine just went blank. What map don't I like? Hijacked. That boat map. I hate that map. Especially for demolition. It's like Nuketown back in Black Ops 1. Everyone voted for it, but everyone did terrible on it. I always do well on it. I just don't see why people vote for it because they always do terrible. It just blows my mind. But anyway, this was a kind of spontaneous commentary. I went 14-3 with an LMG, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I just want to say thank you very much for watching, guys. If you leave a like, that would be absolutely amazing. And as per usual, if you've missed my last video, there will be an annotation on the screen now. It is a 13 one demolition gameplay with the PDW. Kind of just go on a massive tear. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and take it easy, guys.